Hi friends, Tim Nance here, and welcome to the back nine of the Dallas Swag Tour event with me and Sabrina Andolfo. The front nine is on Sabrina's YouTube channel. You should definitely check that out. We're playing at the Texas Rangers golf course, and our back nine is actually gonna get started on the very first hole out here at the course. We've got some smooth music for you here, mostly to cover up the music they were playing on this tee. It's a par five, dog leg left, and I'd like to say that I was trying to hit the ball this far left and cut the corner. I wasn't, but that drive actually worked out yep. just fine. Yeah, let's see if I can do what I did on the last hole with the driver. I think you can. Sabrina on the previous video, you could see her driving was starting to really show up in a good way. Uh, aside from the very first hole, you should definitely watch that. Anyway, she absolutely striped this one right down the fairway. Should be a good position. Why is so dramatic with everything? Nobody knows. Okay, I'm just gonna do a three wood again. Do it. A little three wood here from the fairway. Uh, and this one took off like a rocket. I kind of drop kicked it, but it went. Yeah, not the best contact, but it actually worked out great for her. So uh, here I am from the middle of the fairway, and look at this. Yeah, that is the follow through of somebody who feels really good about the previous shot. So here's Sabrina, short of the green with her pitch shot for the third shot into this par five. And this one uh, had some great spin on it, and yeah. it stopped really quickly. So right there, we've got a putt for birdie for Sabrina. Yeah. And here I am just off the green. The uh, short game had been feeling really good all day. And this one, it just came up a bit short. I wanted to land that probably another, uh, probably three, four yards oh, further. Yeah. Would have felt good about it. But instead I have this putt here for birdie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was in. I gotta be honest with you. After I hit it, I thought it was in. But that's okay, because Sabrina has this putt right here for birdie. Uh, to get us to one under. We are even par up to this point in the competition. So it's so a little uh, left to right down the hill putt. And let's see how she does. Oh, nice. Yeah. Look at that. Did I say left to right? I meant right to left. I don't know. I can't tell. Kyle Berkshire. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm the wish, Kyle Berkshire. Oh, my bad. Yeah, a little less expensive. Let me know if you got any birthday parties coming up. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so that was a fun interaction right before I smashed this driving iron uh, on this par four. Uh, the shot tracer is mostly oh, right, except sure. that the golf ball is about 10 yards left of where that ended up. Um, it turned, it's fine. It's just behind that hill you can see. Sabrina, with another driver shot here, and... She hit this one really well, right down the fairway. And she probably hates it, because that seems like a thing that she does, um, but it worked out great. I believe this was an eight iron from behind this hill. Can't really see the flag, which is why I go running out to the right. And the shot looked great in the air. It just ended up a little bit long over the Kyle. green. And then Sabrina from the middle of the fairway, uh, when she hit this, we thought oh. this might just go in the hole. It looked fantastic. Well, that's with me. But something about this hole, for some reason, I think it just played a little bit long, and we were both just long of the green here. This is a tricky chip down the hill. Hit that exactly okay, that where I wanted so to, good, and could not be no, happier really with good, how that worked out. I mean, obviously, if it went in, I would have been happier, but um, executed exactly what I was trying to do. Just a very tricky chip there. Sabrina putting from off the green. Look at this shaky camera work. That's what I'm talking about. That's the professionalism you expect. Anyway, she's got this little cleanup putt here for par. Should not be any trouble. And there we go. The third hole out here, it's a par three. It says 185 on that little screen, but it was not playing that far. But I may have hit this wedge that far as I thinned it into the woods. This was also the closest to the pinhole. That was terrible. Correct. Uh, I did not win, it turns out. Sabrina, uh, with our hopefully only chance to get a par here from wherever that first shot I hit ended up. She hit this one a little bit left, just to the left side of the green. The pin is over on the right. Um, there's nothing really wrong with that shot, except it just leaves a, a tricky downhill putt. 
Yeah, here I am. Look at that. From the woods. Uh, honestly, I'm not even mad about that shot. Right. If I'd hit it maybe two yards you further, uh, trickles onto the green. And then here I am for uh, kind of an outside chance at par. And that was really quite bad. Anyway, Sabrina here for her long birdie putt. Not sure why this isn't in focus. Um, but that, that is now. And she has that left for par. Oh, Sabrina. So we've uh, got we've got some work to do. This is the par putt down the hill. Oh, no. She gave it most of a really good run. It just needed a little more. You want to tap that in? And now we have this tap in here for bogey, which gets us back to even par. Respectable. Yeah, really. <laughs> so here we are heading into the fourth hole. It's a 300 and probably 50 yard par four up the hill. And uh, really just swing away. And that is exactly what I did with this right. drive. Hit it really well. And ended up just short of the bunkers that are just short of the green. Uh, Sabrina aiming a little more out to the right where the fairway actually goes. And she hit a really good drive here. That worked? That's great. And reacts as though she's not sure if yep. it's okay, but it's perfect. No problem. Middle of the fairway. Right here we go. Look at this cinematic little sequence of just me out there filming, so I didn't have my brother to get the cinematic shots, but I, I tried, okay? Did my best. And uh, here we go. A little wedge shot into the green. And this one, you can't really see in this shot, but... It got a weird bounce. It did. It took a very, very weird bounce there. So. Um, it, worked, it was going to be okay, just a little bit short. Not exactly what she was looking for. Here I am. The drive ended up short-sided with a bunker to carry. And as you could guess, that shot was always going to be long of the pin. Because short of the pin is in a bunker. Which leaves me this long birdie putt across the green. And uh, one of our plane partners had just hit a putt uh, and it seemed to roll out. Scared me. At least that's the excuse I'm going to use. <laughs> and here we go, Sabrina for her birdie. Another long putt. Look at this. This oh, shaky cam oh, trying to chase oh, this. Oh. Oh, what a putt. What a great putt. Really had a chance of going in there, so tap in par. Like so we are still even par on this back nine. Alrighty. And here I am putting mine just because uh, I think I told Sabrina if I make this, I'm just going to use mine for the video. Right. So let's pretend like we used my putt for the par. Anyway, onto the fifth. It's a par four. This is one of those situations where I thought aim straight at those bunkers because there's no chance that you hit it straight. Well, uh, I did in fact hit it straight and almost hit it into the very last bunker, but it came up just short, so still in the fairway, still okay. Nice. Now Sabrina stepping up to her drive. It's a pretty big fairway, so it's just kind of a green light swing away, and that is exactly what she does here. That's a great drive. And she does. She hits a great drive down the right side. Uh, it actually got closer to those bunkers than we were hoping for, but she did stay out. And uh, here we go. This iron shot was absolutely smashed. It was hit so well. She pulled it a little bit left, and it ended up in one of the most unlucky places, period. So we're going to see that here in a second. Now here's my shot, my little wedge shot into the green. Um, Okay, here's the thing. I hit this shot really, really well. And that's important to remember um, because of maybe where this thing ends up. Like I hit it so well. Tempo felt good. Everything felt good. Until I saw where it landed. And then it did not feel so good anymore. So anyway, here is Sabrina's third shot. And this is just the most unlucky break it's crazy. This is such a difficult bunker shot here. That's a great shot from there. Yeah, it's it's difficult to express just how good of a shot that was because of how difficult that bunker situation was. Here I am from way past the green. I do not know how, but somehow that wedge shot into the wind went like 20 yards too far. Here I am back up the hill for par really don't want to go over par on this back nine but 
I am not helping us out here. So it's down to Sabrina. Can she make this par putt? And what would be a fantastic up and down from that bunker position? Well, I'll just wait and see. What a putt. And she drains it. So we are still even par heading into the short par three. And here's the thing. After that last wedge shot, I was so scared of <laughs> wedge distances. So not exactly the thought you want into a shorter par three. The, the shot I hit was fine. It was just short. And the pin is up on a ridge. So yeah, it's going to leave myself with a very, very tricky putt here. Sabrina, this shot was almost exactly what you wanted to do. Um, shot tracer is a little oh, behind, but you get the idea. Some long putts up that hill. Like if it went like five yards further, that's so yeah, we left ourselves with some really difficult putts up this hill. Uh Sabrina is the first to putt. And she actually read this pretty well. Like that was such a good putt. Looked like it had a chance the whole way. And uh, left us with just a tap in par there for Sabrina. And I, I want you to know that I could have just cut this next putt out of the video. I could have done it, you know? I'm the one who put this video together. So I could have just cut this out and not showed you what happened. But I thought you might need a little bit of comedy in your life. And uh, yeah, <sighs> not great. Anyway, we were playing with some really cool guys out here. Um, so I wanted to include them in the video. That's Christian, and that is Joe right there. Just some good dudes. We had a great time. Uh, this next par four, um, here's what matters. There's a butterfly. You see that? Just like flying around there. Yeah, I don't know what, where the butterfly went. The drive went down the left side. It's going to be in kind of a tricky place. But more importantly, there was a butterfly. So, yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I wonder if drivers will play for me. Probably. Sabrina with her tee shot, no butterfly in the shot, so not quite as cool as what I just got to do, but she hit a significantly better drive than I did right down the fairway again. You know, it's gotta be boring playing from the middle of the fairway all the time. Uh, that's probably why I don't do it. You know, I prefer to explore nature. You know, there's some beautiful places to explore in the world and uh, my drives tend to find them. So this wedge shot, uh, not her best, kind of floated it out to the right, came up a little short. Not that I'm one to talk because this wedge shot off of kind of a, I don't really know how to describe this lie, it was kind of mulch and when I swung it just disappeared. So really a terrible shot and now we both have chip shots in for our third on this par four. Sabrina hit a great pitch shot here again she's given a lot of these shots a chance to go in which is good that's what we're looking for and uh, i thought you know what i got to give this one a run you know she's got the par locked up so let's take a little bit more of a run at it and i did just a little they bit out to the right chance to make a par good putt even with the loud car in the background, just put that one in no problem. We're here on the eighth hole, still even par. Here's the thing. Uh, we knew pretty wow, quick, nice. probably nice. seven, eight holes in, that there was no chance we were going to win this event because there were people posting really low scores. I want to say when we were heading into the back nine, probably halfway through the back nine, there was groups. there were groups that were like eight, nine under par. So for us, it was really just about trying to play some decent golf and uh, really just kind of having a great time hanging out with Joe and Christian here. So that is exactly what we did. We really just focused on having fun and trying to play decent golf. And uh, heading into the eighth, I felt like we were playing okay. I felt like we were playing decent. Not a lot of birdies, um, but, you know, really playing okay. And uh, here is where things kind of got crazy. Another cool sequence here. And then no shot tracer needed. Just, yeah, uncharacteristically bad iron shot there by Sabrina. And then I hit this 
wedge shot, which again, wedge distances, just absolutely a mess. Okay, that's long by a mile. And I flew the green by a lot. Sabrina had this wedge shot, which also went long. Uh, this is a par four, so I've got this chip shot. I just want you to realize this is on a pretty big down slope, and yeah, I just, just wanted you to know this is a very, very tricky chip shot, so temper your expectations. My hope was just to keep it on the green, and that worked out about as well as I could have hoped. Sabrina with this chip shot here for her fourth shot. And here we have this putt for her bogey, which she makes. So that's a great putt. Uh, and I have this putt here for par. Wouldn't it be nice if I made like one long putt in this, in this video? It would be. But I didn't. Anyways, on to the ninth hole, par five. And here's the thing. I was not thinking when I stepped up to this tee that I was gonna try to drive the green. But as you will see, that is, uh, that's kind of what I did. And I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, stay tuned. You're gonna see that here in just a second. But first we're gonna let Sabrina, well, no, look at that. Christian's back with that silky smooth swing and Joe, Again, just some great tempo with these two guys. Now here's Sabrina uh, for her drive. Yeah, she didn't like it, but it actually turned out okay. So yeah, not really sure why she reacted that badly. A little out to the left, but she just had this layup as a par five. So laid it up to a good number. Yep. All good. So when I meant drive the green, I meant I almost drove the green on the first. Nice. Which is where that ball ended up, just on, just a little right, or a little left of Perfect. the first green. So lay up to basically exactly where Sabrina is, and uh, yeah, that's my golf ball just a couple yards in front of her. So we had these two shots in to the green on the last. Sabrina shot a little bit left of the pin, but not bad. And then this shot here, it felt really, really good when I hit it. Oh, and it looked so pretty good, good too. Nice sound. It sounded good. Look good. Um, here's Sabrina from the other side of the green for her birdie putt. And like she did all day, she gave that one a great roll. You know, her putting was um, significantly better than mine today, and we needed that. So here she is tapping in for her par. Nice. And then here I am. It's not a close birdie look, but it's at least a birdie look up the hill. And I gave it a run, oh. you know? I hit kind of the putt that I wanted to, just didn't go in. So anyway, we ended up one over par uh, for this 18. And like I said, we, we kind of knew we weren't gonna be competing for the victory, but we still had a great time. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next one.